Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my new channel. It's Eloy from uh, Pinoy Crafted. So this is my new channel. I uh, I have a uh, Quailer 100 still, and uh, I'm Baskin Ocarina, which is actually uh, uh, doesn't have any videos yet. So uh, I actually have Quailer 100, which I started, and uh, I kind of felt that I was putting too many things. Uh, in there. It was just there's travel, there's crafts, and uh, you know, stuff about COVID. So I thought I need to start bifurcating this and or trifurcating even. So I start branching out. Um, I think this way uh, with Pinoy Crafted, I can concentrate more on the crafts that I do and have a place for it. And Quailer 100 uh will not have as much uh crafts in it um and then ambaskin okarin which is uh as kapampangan which is a filipino dialect meaning anywhere so when i travel and uh go places that's where i want to post them because i love to travel and uh do you know work with my hands and then there's everything else in between so that would be quailer 100 so that's going to be the the format of this um, and I just wanted to do this quick video uh, as you notice I'm probably uh, you, you probably notice I'm wearing a white shirt and a and a vest well I just made this vest and I actually got into sewing um, more more into it now uh, during the COVID um, I just haven't posted a lot of videos I actually have a lot of uh, stuff that I've done since the last time I posted on Coiler 100 but I'm kind of like rearranging things and it's kind of like I guess this is an analogy for it. So, there's that mess. That's Quailer 100 right there. There's still a lot of mess. Uh, that's where all the mismatch <laughs> things are. But I'm actually uh, organizing uh, this room, which is going to be my editing room. As you can see, I have uh, my computer. Oh, that's an, I don't even use that. I don't even want it. Uh, I don't know why I still have it. Well, actually, I do. Uh, I haven't been able to do electronic uh, recycling. Um, I uh, am actually, this, this is going to be a lot of, uh, well, this is my sewing room where I have my Husqvarna and uh, I have a singer that I actually, but I'll go over these in a little bit. And my latest purchase, and I apologize for spitting, is a console model 200. And uh, this thing I just got a couple of days ago. He, uh, it was from a guy named Cameron in Encino, and uh, he put it on Craigslist without a picture, so I, I pretty much bought it sight unseen. <clears throat> he said it works, trusted him, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, it was for $300, and I was able to bring it down to $175. Uh, it was, um, you know, uh, what happened was he had it all over the place. And so I told him, I, he, he brought it down to 100. He says he couldn't get it to work, but it does work. He says, I'll guarantee to you when it works that it's 100%. I said, well, yeah, it, if it works, then yeah, it's 100% guarantee. <laughs> so, so anywho, so it's actually, uh, it's very intimidating and it actually has a clutch motor down here. I don't know if you could probably see that. And I just ordered a, uh, a servo motor. And uh, the difference is that this thing makes a lot of noise and it was bugging my ears. I have tinnitus, especially this uh, left ear. And uh, it sure as heck makes a lot of noise. So I'm gonna buy a, a well, I actually already bought it uh, through Amazon and it's supposed to be delivered in a couple of days. And I'm gonna do an install on that and uh, upload that. And I actually like this. I was going nuts. I actually, um, uh, you know, when I first bought it, it had a needle. Somehow I threaded it right and it worked really well. And it's sewed through uh, denim, sewed through uh, leather, and then I broke the needle. And I can't read the needle size, and so I've been actually going crazy trying to figure out needles. And so, uh, learn with me as, uh, as I learn uh, what to uh, put on there. So luckily, I, I have a whole bunch of needles, and I threw one in there, and I just did a couple of things. Now it's sewing like a gem, except it doesn't have a walking foot. So on very light uh, material like poplin, uh, it actually kind of 
Yeah, it's got that wavy line and uh, I don't know, maybe I think there might be a way of resolving that even though I don't have a walking foot. But then again, how often will I be sewing uh, a poplin? So, so like I said, this is just going to be a, a quick intro video. I apologize for my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, it's been hot and uh, in Southern California. It's uh, August 27th, uh, 2020. And uh, please join me. And thank you for uh, joining me this morning. And uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I promise you, we're going to be uh, uh, seeing a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to try it, time it uh, at certain intervals. But I won't always be successful. I hope I can. That's going to be one of my goals is to have something on a uh, a regular basis. Uh, and it's not just going to be sewing. It's going to be uh, woodworks, metalworks. And, uh, you know, I've gotten a little philosophical about this. It's about geometry and, uh, you know, and there's no difference between blacksmithing, woodwork, and sewing. And... You know, uh, I hope I don't uh, forget this. I just want to make this a short video. But there's so much... Um, uh, there, there, there are so many things in common between those three things. Cloth, wood, and metal. Who would have thought? So stay tuned. Thank you very much. And hope you have a good day. And we'll see you in a bit. Bye for now.